Hey, good morning. It's uh, Monday, so that means Unfinished Objects Day. And I was going to catch you up because I pulled out my Arne and Carlos unfinished mittens from the cruise that I took last May. Last May, when I left off, I think I got to his nose. So I had this much mitten done. This much done. Um, I pulled these out and I finished it, finished one mitten. I did not do a Kitchener, so we'll see if that drives me crazy. Um, and then I started my second mitten. Uh, let's see. I finished this mitten Friday night. I started my second mitten Saturday, and look how far I've gotten. See that? I got a long way just in like 24 hours. I did a lot of uh, watching YouTube from the couch and also a lot of peeling paint off. And, oh, I went to tea, which will be in the other channel over there at the Twisted Pico. I'll catch you up on that. But I was just sitting here knitting away, enjoying my little mitten when I discovered I was supposed to, about 10 rows back, put in waste yarn for my thumb gusset. So... The work that I did last night is going to have to come out, which is sad, but I can't think of any other way to do it. I could cut it open, but then I'd have to get a hold of yarn. So it's going to have to come out. So backing up, I'll go, and I can't put it down and put it away. This would be, now this is an example of a time when I could totally see this going into timeout and me turning it into an unfinished object. I made a mistake. I don't have the heart to rip out 10 rows, so put it away, I'm going to do. And in fact, I think I found a sweater uh, yesterday, day before yet. No, that was Friday night too. I found a sweater. I found another pile of unfinished objects, and in it was the sweater that I remember that I didn't like and that I was going to rip it out. And uh, so I will, I'm going to actually put that little clip in right here so that you can see the new pile of unfinished objects. I just sort of video camera I didn't pull the projects out, so there's no great detail. I just quickly go through this tote that I found full of unfinished objects, and I'll put the clip in here so you can see me sorting through that box. There were All right, I just carried a load to the garage, and I have unearthed a tote of unfinished objects. I'm going to take you through this real quick, because I'm not going to take these back to the house with me. We have house projects going on. David's unloading the van full of some other stuff. Unfinished project. A sweater that I ripped out because the pattern sucked. So I have to find a new pattern for this because I do want a sweater out of this. This is, um, I'll put the name right up here. This is a linen unfinished sweater that I got down to pass the yoke and then it's ready to go. I just have to figure out how to do the yoke. But what I wanted to do was tie a knitted bottom to a crocheted top. I think I even have the crochet parts done. I just have to melt the two together. This is a cowl that I started with swaddle and angora silk. I think I'm going to rip that one out. Um, this is a yarn crawl out of a yarn crawl shawl that's barely started right here, so I could rip this one out too, out of some fingering weight singles tweed. That one's getting ripped out. Ooh, bare yarn. Not unfinished. Let's see what we have in here next. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you the tote. It is the tote of unfinished soles. Here's a spinning thing, but since I haven't started it yet, I don't think it's unfinished considered, is it? Uh, that just has a swatch. So that's not done. It's Stevens. Are those knitting needles in there? No, that's a cord. A charging cord. What's this? Bunch of yarn. That's okay. Oh, here is an unfinished sweater. And this is the one when I said I can think of at least two I want to rip out. This is one of them. I just was not happy with this sweater. Uh, oh, another project. This one I got a little further on with beads. This is a yarn crawl, and this is out of the tweed, the fingering tweed, too, that no, we no longer have. Is that it? 
Oh, there's something down there. Let's dig. Let's dig deeper. Oh, a hat that I hate. Let me rip that out. That's not started. Is this started? Nope, not started. I probably won't start that. I'll probably repurpose that for something else. Okay, I think that's the bottom. So, just a few unfinished projects that I found in the storage shed in a tote that I will get come back to, but I thought, you know, just so you could see the um, extent of my madness and how it needs to end. These will be, these will go into round two. I know that there's a sweater still missing. Oh my God, it fit in here tighter before. Hmm, how did I do that? I do love it that they're kept in individual totes though. There, I do need to, these are like hand comb blocks that I got. So one of these days I'll have to spin them. I think these are gonna have to come out and this will have to close without them. All right, a tote with yarn, but also unfinished projects. There we go, I'm sure there's more. I just haven't found it yet. Yarn. Uh, uh oh, that's Jane's stuff. I need to move that. Um, yarn, 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 yarn. This is my personal stash, people. There's a yarn there, too. I have too much. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. It's time to go through it. The good news is that there are a few projects that I know I will never wear but I want to finish them. So if you, when I get to these projects, I will show them to you and ask if you would like to be a recipient of my Mountain Climbed. Talk to you later. There were at least five in there, unfinished objects that you have not been introduced to. So you're gonna get a little intro, but not a full one, cause there won't be, you know, pictures or anything of the garments. But uh, two of them actually in there are gonna get ripped out cause I don't like two of them. And then there are there were a few kits that I hadn't even started yet. So according to Tony, that is a not a fin unfinished object. It's a not started object and it's stash. It's considered stash. Anyway, hopefully someday I will get to the stash instead of the unfinished objects. That would be nice, right? Right now I have more. I have enough to keep me occupied for quite some time. <clears throat> so at tea yesterday... My friend Ilian said to me, you know, you really shouldn't have named this Unfinished Objects YouTube channel because what are you going to do when you run out of unfinished objects? <laughs> do you think that'll ever happen? I don't think so. And honestly, given that I go to antique stores and find other people's unfinished objects, I think I can run this for years to come. So, uh... I don't, I'm not worried about this channel ever going away, frankly. How about you? How big is your unfinished object pile? Do you go to antique stores and find other people's unfinished objects to finish? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I will, uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh, I can link the Arne and Carlos. I will link the Arne and Carlos page. I do not know if this pattern, actually, I'll give you a little close up so you can see better what this is. Um, so these mittens were um, on the cruise. We were given a mystery kit on the cruise. And the yarn for this came from a really small mill that we got to tour, which I have footage from, so I will put that in here. We got to tour the um, mill, and then um, this is yarn made from Norwegian sheep. And then this motif, you go past on the boat when you do a cruise up into the north part of Norway. It's I don't remember what it is. Tony will remember what it is because she got up to go out and see it. But it's a marker of some parallel or, you know, that you've reached the Arctic Circle or something like that. And then this, the gal who who organized the cruise said that it was a crab, but it's not a crab. It's a, it's a reindeer. So we have a reindeer and we have the world. And then on the other side, little A's and C's for Arne and Carlos. So, uh, and then I'm not done with this mitten yet. I have to pull out this hot pink yarn and that's where there's an opening where I can pick up stitches and make the thumb that will fit my thumb. So that's how these mittens are constructed. I now have to rip back here to put that hot pink thumb, thumb gusset in right back. That's probably six rows. I have to go back six rows. I did those last night. It's not bad, but, uh, 
um, now I'll put the footage of uh, the mill where this yarn comes from. And um, if I have some video footage of going past the statue that is where that whirl is, where the, the globe is, I'll also put that in. So that's going to be next. In my purse. If you like my channel, make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, ring the bell so that you get notified when I put a new video up. I am really trying hard to get a video up every Monday and Thursday just to show you progress on my unfinished projects, to show you new unfinished projects discovered, and um, to talk about your unfinished projects. So let me know if you have any unfinished projects. Let me know if this channel has inspired you to get started making, working on them. And if you finished any of them, definitely send pictures. I will see you on Thursday. Bye.